Welcome back to The Hill on News Nation. The centrist group No Labels has been flirting with a third party presidential run for several months now, with Senator Joe Manchin floated as a top choice. But many Democrats, Manchin's party, fear this would only help Donald Trump get reelected should he be the Republican nominee. No Labels founding chair Joe Lieberman responded to those claims on Monday. We've been very explicit, and we're, uh, just watch us. Uh, if the polling next year shows, after the two parties have chosen their nominees, that in fact we, we will help elect one or another candidate, we're not going to get involved. Joining us now is the co-founder of No Labels, Dave Walker. Dave, thanks for being here on the Hill on News Nation. Appreciate it. Um, what's the end goal here, for the Dave? Yeah, you got it. What's the end goal? Look, we... First, we're not a political party, we're a political movement. And the American people are very upset. 70% don't want Joe Biden, 60% don't want Donald Trump, 78% of Americans believe that the future for our kids and grandkids will not be as good as today. That's unacceptable, it's un-American. What we're doing is gaining ballot access for a third option that we will only offer if the, the data shows next spring that there is a pathway to victory in the Electoral College. And if it turns out that after next spring, it shows that there's not a pathway to victory as late as the summertime, we can pull that ballot access. But right now, the data shows a unity third option dedicated to a issue-oriented and results-oriented agenda, such as the common sense agenda. But that sounds like win. a political party, does and it not, Dave? Like the case, we'll trying to before. get ballot access, making a decision in 2024 about your future. I know you say you're a movement, but at the end of the day, if you go forward, sure. you run a candidate, and it's a political party, is it not? Important, no, because political parties are designed to try to run candidates at multiple levels. We're only focused on a possible third option for president and vice president in 2024. Uh, and that's all we're focused on. Uh, and we're focused on trying to get the parties to be able to start focusing on the issues that the American people count, uh, care about. There are 30 issues in this booklet, The Common Sense Agenda, which you can find on nolabels.org, that are based on what the American people are concerned about, that the parties aren't dealing with, with sensible solutions about how to deal with them. And we're hopeful that whether we run a third option or not, and by the way, it won't be ours, it won't be the no labels ticket, they'll just have our line, that we're hopeful that whether we run that option or offer that line or not, that the major parties will start focusing on the issues that the American people care about because they're sure not doing it now. Hey, Dave, this is Morgan. So you have the Democrats heaping mad at you guys because they're saying this is just an effort that's going to elect Donald Trump or help elect him. Uh, but you also have a pretty prominent senator, Joe Manchin, that is reportedly considering being on your ticket. Can you talk about that? Can you tell us who might be on the ticket? And how do you respond to those Democratic charges? Well, first, we haven't even determined what the process will be yet to select a potential ticket to offer our ballot line to. The reason that Senator Manchin and Governor Huntsman were there in New Hampshire on Monday is because they're two of our three original co-chairs for No Labels. They've been involved with No Labels since the beginning, along with Senator Lieberman. Uh, and so that's why they're there. Clearly, they're two very capable people. They're people that ought to be considered. But unlike in, t in 2012, when Americans elect try to do something similar, and they didn't have anybody step forward, there's lots of people that are willing to run on the third option this time because we have conditions that have never existed before in the history of this country. D Dave, I just, I, Dave, I just want to clear something up real quick. If it's a year from now or 11 months, 10 months from now, and you have ballot access, but it shows that putting a candidate forward, whoever they might be, helps Joe Biden or helps Donald Trump, and it were to tip the election one way or another, what would you do? Here's the key. Before we offer our ballot line to a ticket, we have to be convinced that there's a pathway to victory for that ticket in the Electoral College. And if there's not a pathway to victory, we won't offer it at all. And if Got later it. on, as late as the summer, uh, it looks like that there's not a pathway to victory or roads or whatever, then we'll pull it. So we're in it to win it.
All right. Well, thank you, Dave Walker. We appreciate you explaining your perspective. Got to turn it back now uh, to our amazing panel. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.